Hello all, it's David here from DP Computing. Today we're going to tear down a Toshiba Satellite Pro L670. I just want to get into the unit to hopefully clean out the fan and the heat sink. Now in another video I showed you how to replace the hard drive and memory. Um, this will touch briefly on the hard drive and memory, but it's mainly to get to the actual fan. So we have to take apart most of the unit. Now to make things quicker, I've removed most of these or all the screws, but I'll just show you where they all are. So you you don't get lost or anything. Now on the back here there's actually uh, first thing we'd have to do is actually the battery so just push out the two little slide sliders and the battery itself will slide out. Also a word of warning do these steps at your own risk it may void your warranty and please take anti-static precautions. As you mentioned there's 16 screws on the back I want you to remove first so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now once they're all removed, there's another three under the battery. They're sort of flat type screws. So there's three there, one, two, three. And then we want to get into this cover here. So this cover's accessible by removing an extra screw here. Now this screw won't remove totally, so just unscrew it until it can't screw any further. And then put your finger under the little indentation and then pull the panel up. Now just be a bit careful, the panel itself has got some tabs along it, so you can probably see tabs across the top there, some there and on the side. So just be very careful when you're removing it and putting it back in. Now here you can see we've got the memory and the hard drive, so what you need to do is remove the hard drive. That's got a little uh, foil tab, so just pull that up and then you can just pull it across and the hard drive gets easily removed. We can leave the memory as is, but we need to remove the actual CD drive or DVD drive here, and that's removed by, there's one screw just there, remove that screw, and then you can push out the actual drive. And now there's an extra, let's see, three screws. Now there, one, oh that's the one we've already removed. There's actually one more there and one there. So just remove those three screws under that other panel. Once they're all removed, we can turn the unit over. Now what we need to do is remove the little panel here. That gives us access to the screws that hold down the keyboard. Now just under, uh, on my unit here, just above the home button, there's a little indentation which you can get a flathead screwdriver under which can then pull up and then undo the little panel. Now when it's going back in, this panel can only go one way, so just be careful and just double check the little um, slots at the bottom that they line up. Once that panel's removed, there's another four screws, so one, two, three, four, remove those screws, and you should be able to lift up the keyboard, and then up, so there's another little um, sockets down the bottom, just don't um, pull it up to damage them. Also don't pull this up too quick because as you'll see there's a little connector so just pull it up and then pull out the connector and then put the keyboard to the side. Now once that's done we've now got five screws we need to remove, another five, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. So once all those screws are removed just slowly, you may again have to get a flathead screwdriver under the side just to sort of start to pop it up. Now, don't do it too much. If there's something sort of um, too heavy or something not quite right, you've probably forgotten one of the screws. Now, here we go. We can see the internals of the machine. And what I want to do is give the fan and heatsink part a dust out. But there we go. That's a tear down, excuse me, of the Toshiba Satellite Pro L60, L670, I should say and to put it back together is just reverse of what you've done. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.